It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Baltimore Ravens and the Los Angeles Chargers. And it's coming up next. From the second largest city in the U.S., Los Angeles, California, we've got football as EA Sports coverage of the NFL is on the air. Today, we've got a compelling AFC matchup for you as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the L.A. Chargers. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And before kickoff, Charles, quickly, your keys to the game. Well, partner, I could give you the standard ones, turnovers, special teams play. But here's one that doesn't get talked about much anymore, and that's time of possession. Whoever controls the football, gives their defense a break, and takes care of business, that's the team that's going to win this ball game. Just about ready. Cameron Dicker has the honors, and we are underway here at SoFi. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. The Ravens offense set to go to work, and it's Lamar Jackson now in his sixth NFL campaign who will lead the way. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers among quarterbacks. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. All those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run it, throw it, and scares defenses every time he takes a snap. The drive starts with a carry by Edwards. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Just like that, it's a gain of 12 and a first down on their first play. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Flush to his right. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. I do think it's fair to say that they were caught off guard a little bit when he decided not to throw it on first down. But give him credit. They recovered in time to deny him the first down yardage. But it's only second and short, so that run is still likely to lead to a new set of downs. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. He went backwards seven yards, setting up a tough third down. Pretty good job there defensively of stringing that one out. Yeah, you've got a quarterback who's waiting and waiting for something to develop, and it just never materialized, and down he went behind the line of scrimmage. They'll see about converting this third and eight. Throwing is Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, on third down, he wanted to go to one of his most dependable targets, and that's who he found, his tight end there, to pick up the first, Charles. And he used the proper word there, dependable, and sometimes spectacular, because tight ends nowadays, they can do it all. But they're the guys you trust, especially across the middle of the field where there's traffic. He delivers, and they pick up nice yardage. A run on first down, but it's not going to get him much. Maybe a yard, and that's all. That was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got he's to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free, and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. First carry now for Justice Hill. Nice move at the 40. And some good running out of the gates as he takes this up to the 33. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. That's a very nice game there. A confidence building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33.
Jackson going to keep it running right. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. It's a scintillating run by Lamar Jackson. And the Ravens will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Well, CD, that was a well-orchestrated drive by Lamar Jackson. Yeah, and how about the way he capped it off, too? Orchestrate the drive and then let everybody know exactly who the guy is on the field. You've got to watch on every play. Finishes it off with a touchdown run. Tucker with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So this drive spans seven plays, and it was capped off by the touchdown run that came from Lamar Jackson. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And Davis contend just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. They're led out by one of a few North Dakota State alums at QB in the NFL, a fifth-rounder back in 2019, Easton Stick. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there and it's second down. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. This offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. Five yards, now it's third and five. In today's NFL, you hear all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run, probing now early to try and get things done later. Stick back to pass. Oh, he rifles one and that's gonna be intercepted. Picked off by Arthur Nowlett. And his guys are gonna take over at the 34 yard line. Well, this had trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. the 34 now here's first and 10 after the interception here's Jackson and that is incomplete he couldn't hold on through the contact brings up second down looked like both sides were anticipating a quick throw there and the defense was ready to jump in and deny it and they did here's second and 10 Jackson from the shotgun. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Jackson. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Kenneth Murray in there to drop him for a six-yard loss, and that will lead to fourth down. 
And this is a quarterback who's already had success on the ground in this first half, but this time they're able to hem him in. And it's always different when you rush a mobile quarterback as opposed to a guy you know will be right back in the pocket. In this case, you got to make sure the inside pressure and the outside pressure match and maybe even a second wave to make sure if he squirts free, you've got someone to tackle him. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. So after the made field goal, 10-0 here early as the kick's away. Here's Darius Davis on the return. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Chargers get set to go here for their second drive. They find themselves down 10-0 early after the interception on their opening drive led to a field goal. So now they've got to pick up the mantle a little bit. You mentioned the team's down 10. They've helped contribute to that. How are they going to get their team back into this ball game? Run the offense that you think is going to be effective and execute it at a high level. Here's Eckler to begin the drive. And a short pickup to about the 25. End result of that one, a nice four yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play action game, or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. From the 25, here's second and six. Once more, here's Eckler. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. Now a third and six. A shotgun throw for Stick. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. And it looks like they're going to have to give up the football again after this one. On fourth down, J.K. Scott ready to punt it away. No, oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Ravens, they'll take over. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. They're looking sharp, out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. They'll run with Edwards here to begin the drive. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Ball on the 40 now. Here's a second and eight. Now it's Jackson. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Now Jackson. And that is incomplete. Well, they came up with points in their first two possessions, but it looks like they'll come up empty here on their third drive. The defense finally starting to get locked into them a little bit. Might have to go a little bit deeper into their playbook on their next possession. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. And the rookie Darius Davis deep for the Chargers. This is brought in at the 21. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and it'll be Charger football here as they take over. 
L.A. readies for its next possession. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. First and 10, stick. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. Nice little nifty play for him there. That's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? And they were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. Running on first down, Eckler. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Adafe Owe so quick, and he gets to him there behind the line. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. That good for 22 with a first down. That's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. It's Eckler again. And this time, the yards won't come so easy as they'll, in fact, tackle him behind the line. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Well, it's almost football 101 that you preach to your safeties. Don't let anyone get behind you. You're the last line of defense. But he didn't let the play come to him. He went to the play. How about that read and recognition and finishing off that one behind the line of scrimmage? They'll throw on second down his stick. Flushed out right. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 12-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. I am willing to bet that he got a monster grin on his face when he saw what was happening. Man coverage was so committed to denying a big throw that it pulled attention away from him, and he had an easy lane to hit, and hit it he did. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Up the middle with Eckler. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Eckler going to get it again on second down. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. That was another good run, and he's having an excellent day. And right now, I don't think his team could have any more confidence in handing him the football. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. Now stick. Touchdown, Chargers! Quentin Johnston. And the Chargers are back within a score. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. But for the extra point, Cameron Dicker. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. So that drive in total eight plays. And it was Quentin Johnston who finished that drive off with a touchdown grab.
after the Dicker field goal. He's back out, ready to send it away. Hill going to think better of bringing this one out, and the drive will start at the 25. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and 10 upcoming. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A short one there, caught by Likely. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches, as we just saw him do there, because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll shred the defense. Two yards on the pickup there, and now we've got a third and four. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. On third down, here's Edwards. And he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Now, that was a big-time play by the defense. They as well knew where the first down line was, and they didn't let them get anywhere near it. Here's Jordan Stout now. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Here's Stick on first and 10. That's caught by his tight end, Gerald Everett. And they work this well upfield across the 45. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. And you're starting to sense the momentum possibly changing just a little here. You get the touchdown in your previous drive, then you force a punt, and now this is a good positive play here to start this drive. And you can just sense the tide starting to turn here in a one-score game. 10-7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. Charger football to start quarter number two as they've got it with a first and 10. Eckler now between the tackles and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Eckler going to get it again on second down, and he is going to lose yardage here. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Stick from the gun. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. Well, they've been fighting and scratching and clawing for that first sack in the game, and it turns out to be a big one. Not just a short one right there behind the line. First one they get, 10-plus yards on a guy who has the legs to escape most of these. Here's J.K. Scott set to do the punting honors.
So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete, but the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. Well, obviously, they never want to see penalties on that defense, but this one... A little bit more significant there on the downfield pass play. And coaches preach it all the time. You can't put yourself in that kind of position if you're the defender. You've got to stay in a spot far downfield where you can play the ball without creating extra contact. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Here's Jackson to throw. That's complete to his receiver, Bateman. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. Barney, you know when we call a game, we talk about Lamar Jackson and his speed, his elusiveness, and the ability to get him on the ground, how tough that is for a defense. But how about his development as a thrower, as a professional? Off the play fake, here's Jackson. Nice little juke. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. This should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Just need a yard here, second and one. On the option right is Jackson, and he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. He has enough for the first down on the keeper, a gain of six. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. On first and ten, it's Jackson. He'll go underneath, dropping it off to Edwards. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Jackson going to give this one to Edwards. He pushes forward for maybe three down to the six-yard line. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. The Ravens on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Jackson. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Lamar Jackson with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys are able to extend their lead. So the lanes continue to be there for Lamar Jackson to run that football. That his second touchdown run of the game. You know what I would like? I'd like for us to be able to go into a defense's room after playing Lamar Jackson and watch the tape and see how much of a lane was really there and how much he created just through his talent. In any event, Lamar Jackson finds the end zone, doesn't he? He always seems to, but that's a good point. We sometimes put blame on the defense. Maybe we just need to praise Lamar Jackson a little bit more. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. 
From his end zone, here's Darius Davis. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. And the L.A. offense ready for this next possession. They find themselves down 17-7 as they start this drive first and 10. Here's Stick looking to throw. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. No shortage of impressive moments from him thus far. Now he's halfway to the century mark, and we're still in the first half. There's been no answer for his running ability so far by the defense. I can't wait to see what adjustments they'll have to make during the halftime break. Stick looks to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing in the coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. Now a second and 10. Back to throw here. Throw over the middle, and it's caught by Johnston. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 40. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 right at the 40. They're going to go play action now with Stick. And he'll take this beyond the line of scrimmage as he slides to a hole. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against a front that's prepared for him to try and take off. This a second and seven from the 37. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Over the middle, and it's caught, Keenan Allen. And Allen's gonna have a Chargers first down as he'll be brought down at the 27. Now we pause for an injury here. It looks like it's, yeah, it's Keenan Allen who's in some pain down there. More from LA in a moment. Play action, it's Stick. His throw incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of, you nailed it pretty well, you know? He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. On second down, it's Stick. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. That's a big force incompletion there to bring up third and long, and this defense can still salvage a little momentum by forcing them to kick a field goal because just a few plays ago, it looked like they were headed towards the end zone. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and 10. Stick looks to throw it again. The throw here right sideline falls incomplete. Fine work by the Baltimore defense to help bring up fourth down. So many things have to go right for any passing play to work out. Quarterback has to understand the defense, deliver an accurate ball. Receiver has to concentrate and bring it in. Somewhere along the assembly line, something was off with that one. And his kick is good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. So 
So after the touchdown, here's Dicker out to kick this one off. And he'll going to sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That is caught with Rashad Bateman. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 33 yards that time. Big plays are starting to become the trend here in this first half, and everything that they've tried has worked. And there's another example right there. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Jackson now off the bootleg. And a short one there caught by Likely. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Second and seven. Throwing is Jackson. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Well, we've seen Jackson already have success in the first half running the football, and he gets good yardage on the ground again there. I mean, how? I know it's a $64,000 question, CD, but how do they contain him better? You have to win against the blockers ahead of you. If those guys even occupy a defender for even a half a second, then Lamar Jackson is gone. You got to take those blockers and move them so that you have clear vision of Lamar Jackson and hopefully you can hem him in. A Jackson to Bateman there for the Baltimore first. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. He can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. Now it's Jackson. And this is caught. Touchdown, Baltimore. Isaiah Likely. A 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens go up by two touchdowns. He got it figured out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. Tucker now to add the point after. And the lead is up to 14. So that drive, six plays, 75 yards. And finishing that drive off was the touchdown grab by Isaiah Likely. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. 
I never met an offensive coach that didn't want a drive to end with a kick. Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants a drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. A big play there for LA. 43 yards. And this offense needed something to try and seize the momentum a little bit. That might have been exactly what they needed. Now they have a chance to go downfield and score and cut into the lead. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. Shifts by him at the 25. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 48 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. And down inside the 15, shy of a 10. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Well, he's proven real effective running the football. No one open, don't force it. Just get what you can, and that's what he's done very well in this game. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Stick back to pass. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this ball recovered by the offense. But remember, they cannot advance it here in the final two minutes of the half. So this will be blown dead. And it'll come back to the spot of the fumble. We hear them discuss red zone efficiency a lot, CD. And they almost gave that one up in the red zone. Luckily, they'll have another shot. And you and I both know that every offensive coordinator, play caller in the league, they take particular delight in their red zone calls because those are the payoff ones. But you can't call a play if your team doesn't have the ball. Got to secure it. Touchdown! Keenan Allen from 21 yards away. And the Chargers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. Extra point try now from Dicker. He's got it, and it's 24-17. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was Keenan Allen who finished it all off with the touchdown reception. Here's Dicker now as he'll send this one away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. And the Ravens going to get one more drive here in this first half. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. 30 seconds remain in this first half as they come up here first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down 
second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Second and 10, here's Jackson again. There he goes, right side. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Now Jackson. That's into the hands of Edwards. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Throw caught by Flowers. And they are going to have a first down, and they're in field goal range as well as they're down inside the 20. Four seconds left, and there's the timeout. In field goal range and a chance to tack on three before intermission. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. This just a 35-yard attempt from the left hash. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So still time for the kickoff here. One second to go in the half as this one is away. So we've reached halftime here on New Year's Eve. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando, standing by with that EA Sports halftime report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Chargers going to get the football first here in this second half, and they trail as we get back underway. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Chargers as they'll go on offense now to start this third quarter. And Charles, some things to like about that first half, ultimately trailing here, but certainly this deficit is manageable. So curious to see what adjustments they may have made at intermission. As am I, because I think things bode well for a possible comeback because I thought a lot of their best reps in the first half came through the passing game. They were hitting the open receivers, taking whatever the coverage gave them and making it work well for themselves. Now, they just want to pick up the pace of scoring a little bit. So I expect them to come out, continue to throw the ball effectively. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. If these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. 
Now Stick. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And third and eight now. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big gain downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short gain. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to give the ball up. Here's J.K. Scott now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. They're rocking and rolling, but the scoreboard doesn't show a big difference. You know, maybe it's one of those games where coaches say you can't miss your turn on offense. I like the way you phrased it, especially with that. I love that rocking and rolling because the explosions on offense are happening. So that's going to keep the crowd going. They're loving that. But defensively, they just can't get it together to get the stops they've needed in order to help increase their margin. They've got to find a way, but you're not counting on it. That's exactly what you said. Can't miss your turn, can't miss your opportunity. Yeah, they're going for another opportunity now. Second and ten. Here's Jackson. That one into the hands of Flowers. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down, and finish this one off. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Carter, even I can figure out who deserves the lion's share of credit for their lead right now because he has been terrific in a dual threat role, really chewing up yardage and getting them points with his legs. Simply put, that defense has had no way of stopping him, and that's why his side is on top. On second down, it's Edwards. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they can actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Here's third and six. From the gun, it's Jackson. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Jackson, options out left. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Considering they've seen him have some big gains against him throughout this game, that's got to feel like a measure of revenge as they trap him behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Out of the gun, they give to Edwards. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. They'll go back to Edwards on first down. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. 
Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. On second down, Jackson. And he couldn't square up to throw there, and it falls incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now it's Jackson. That is caught. And in for the Ravens. Touchdown. Odell Beckham. 30 yards. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes. And while this game is far from over, I love their approach. Tucker now for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. A 10-play drive that time. And it's OBJ, Odell Beckham, who ends it with a touchdown reception. Justin Tucker. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And Davis content just to bring this out to the 25-yard line. The offense for Los Angeles returns to the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand... They've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. They started on the ground with Eckler, and he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Defenses always talk about earning the right to rush the passer on third down, and you know what offenses want? win first down so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't helpful there. Not a big impact on first down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Stick looking to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for them. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. A shotgun throw for Stick. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. And he'll get about three out of that up to the 39-yard line. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Stick looks to throw. 
pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 40. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And that was good protection there. No, that was great protection there because it allowed him to lock in on his receiver. Although I think he was looking for his tight end on the corner route all the way. Nice connection there for a really nice gain. Here's Stick on first and 10. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Jadevian Clowney showing the explosiveness on the sack. Oh, you can just see it in their body language. They're starting to see victory on the horizon now. And if it comes to fruition, they got to give a game ball to the front seven. Defensive line has taken charge and controlled this game. Face a challenge of stopping this opposing offense, and they've done so with ease. On second down, Eckler, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snap, but what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. So two third down conversions on this drive, but not able to get a third, and now they deal with fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. On is the punter Scott here as he gets this one away. And this is going to be ruled out, I think, just inside the 20. Yes, it will. Side judge calls it at the 19-yard line. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. And they'll begin by running the option. And they're able to get this one across the 35. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. Pretty nice play here. They go read option, read the defensive end, and when he collapsed down inside, how about the quarterback pulling it, keeping it, and not only getting to the second level, but picking up some really nice yardage. Very, very well read. One play has him to the 37 here for first and 10. Jackson now. Got his target, that's Kohler. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it's second down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about, and you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. On third down, Jackson shakes off the sack, but he can't get away forever, and down he goes. And that'll bring up fourth down on the big sack with a loss of five. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It's a 44-yard punt, just three on the return. Here comes the Chargers offense now back out onto the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well. I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. 
Third quarter now from SoFi Stadium. Here's a second and 10. Stick from the gun. And his throw's going to be incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still, with his talent, you would expect them to have more completions to him in this game. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He'll look to throw. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. He certainly isn't looking at the scoreboard out there because, to me, all he's concerned about is analyzing the field and making most of the time left in this game. Deficit's still there, but he's starting to hit them with some big plays. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. He's going to try and take off with it. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. Well, if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. Out to his left. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood. It's Charger football, but they trail here as we get going in quarter number four. Working the middle here. That's complete to Everett, the tight end. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 11 more on that one and another first down. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out and to that end a nice pass play there to push things downfield yeah and we know in this league a loss is a loss and no one wants anything to count as a moral and now look at this big game but a fumble and it's picked up by the ravens and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back and I don't know that that fumble is going to matter a whole lot. You look at the deficit here in the fourth. It doesn't matter. The coach on the sideline still scratching his head. Yeah, not only scratching his head, but probably writing a note or two about we're going to address this come practice next week because maybe that's the reason we're down this far. Doesn't matter at this point, but being sloppy throughout the game, not going to help him improve. Edwards now on first and 10. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Second down and eight. They run once more with Edwards. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. Now, that's a nice play. <laughs> Got me fired up, partner. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking in the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way they have to get the ball back now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop call it a gain of three and it'll bring up fourth down well they got off the field on third down an excellent job an excellent defensive series we always talk about adjustments and usually only at halftime 
but the best teams adjust series to series. And on that series, they adjusted so well that they got the job done in fine style. The Ravens send their punter out now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. Davis now to return it. 35 yards that time on the punt, and the Chargers will be set up pretty well as they take over in great field position. Here's a Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Stick looking to throw on first and 10. Steps away to his left. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. And this is a rarity in the NFL, a 100-yard game on the ground for a quarterback. Even as those passers get more athletic and mobile, we only see about five of these a season. It takes a special set of circumstances for it to happen, and of course, a special player. Stick back to pass. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. On third down, it's Stick. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Off play action, it's Stick. He'll buy some time right. Give him a couple on the scramble, it's second down. These are running back numbers that he's accumulating right now. Received double digit carries and has rewarded them by breaking the century mark and rushing, in addition to what he's done through the air. Definitely MVP caliber football we're witnessing. This is second and eight. They're gonna go play action now with Stick. A uh, quick throw there is incomplete. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags. And I believe this is going to be a first down. So big turn of events there. They had him sacked on third down, but the hand to the face is going to give him new life. And when it comes to protecting quarterbacks, partners, you well know, these officials are not going to hesitate if they see a tug on the mask. Heck, if they see a hand up near the mask, the flag's going to come out. On the give, this is Eckler. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Well, depending on the temperament of the head coach, he's either turning to the bench and screaming, what was that all game? Or maybe he's just kind of keeping it to himself and saying, okay, it's something to build on and a positive comes out of a bad game because those are going to happen from time to time. We'll see how he gets his team ready to go in the future. But that run right there, that's what they were looking for. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Eckler is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. It's a loss of two, now third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. They'll look to throw on third and goal, eluding the pressure. 
And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Easton Stick, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chargers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. They were looking to pass the ball there, but they forgot to account for the man with the football. Yeah, I can hear people right now saying, well, why don't you have a spy in your defense, someone who will dance with him and go where he goes. Well, oftentimes, if you utilize a spy, you've taken away someone in coverage as well. And oftentimes, the spy, not as athletic as the guy he's trying to keep up with, so he gets defeated anyway. And he turns third and goal into a touchdown. Now, after the Dicker field goal, he's back out, ready to send it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Personal foul, face man, defense. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. So a big penalty there on the face mask leads to first and 10. Up the middle, here's Edwards. And he'll fight forward on the straight ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Here's Edwards again on second down. And he stopped immediately there. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Absolutely love the effort there. The ability to flow from his inside spot and stop that one at the line of scrimmage. Nice linebacker play. The Ravens on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This is third and eight. Throwing is Jackson. And that will be incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. The Ravens send their punter out now as he's on for the fifth time here today. And a fair catch called for and made just outside the 15-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And they will take over first and 10. Now stick. He'll get this out wide to Eckler. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Gotta get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Now a second and six. Looking to throw. That's going to be caught. It's Palmer. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again.
Draw play. It's Eckler. And boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Pretty effective blitz there to stop the draw play right in its tracks. And actually, when they blitz, draw play is supposed to work very well. You're supposed to have them bypass the runner, and he slips past them. But they put their eyes in the right place, took away all the creases, and slowed him down in a big way. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. But in tapping those toes, he tried to get both in bounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both <laughs> feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put a little sand down on the stage. <laughs> I'll take your word for it, my man. Going for the knockout blow right there. I think if I'm up two scores, I'd be worried about an interception, but playing this way is what got them this lead. So you may as well ride it out to the end. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is going to be recovered by a member of the offense, but whistles come in. Remember, on fourth down, that becomes a dead ball if anyone other than the fumbler himself recovers. So it'll come back to the spot of the fumble, and that will mean that's going to wind up being a turnover on downs. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. A real chance for them to salt this game away after that turnover on downs, holding a two-score lead in the fourth quarter. Jackson on first down. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. And partner to me, that one was all about timing. If he's there too early, it's going to be a pass interference call. If he's too late, it's a completed pass. He was Johnny on the spot on that one. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. A give up the gut to Hill. Pushes past him. And a pretty good run there as he gets seven down to the 33. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and 10. Nice run on second and 10 when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now, if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. And he is going to lose yardage here. Disaster there, resulting in a loss of seven on third down. Well, so much for that possession. Yeah, I think he tried to do a little too much there, partner. He tried to keep it himself. End up getting buried in the backfield, and that brings up fourth down. So here comes Justin Tucker in a big spot. They'll spot it at the 47, so call it a 57-yard attempt. And he's going to miss this one. That is no good. Well outside the left upright. And the lead will hold at 10. Now, Charles, all things considered, I guess that's not a critical miss at this stage, is it? No, but still everything helps when you're trying to finish off a ball game. And you're right, not critical in terms of the scoreboard and the team. But the guy with the golden foot, he knows he's only as good as his last kick. Here's first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. For Keenan Allen, that's complete. And he'll take this from 147 yard line to the other, a gain of six. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, Something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. So it's Charger football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. 
Sticks. This throw taken in by Johnston. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That's a pretty throw right there. That ball's in the air a long time, but it's right on the money on the right sideline. A really good route. Moving the defenders towards the middle of the field before breaking to the sideline. What a completion there. Big time arm strength. Very nice route. Now stick. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays off in quick succession if they can. Sticks throw there complete to Allen. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 12-yard line. Of course, remember, you need a touchdown here and a field goal. Doesn't matter the order, but they have to get it done and get it done fast. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. All three timeouts remain, but they've got to score quick. It's first and 10. Stick. And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. And they put it in the end zone, which was job one. Now they have to convert. And then it's decision time, isn't it? Yeah, it's your, this is what all teams go through. You look at the clock, you're inside two minutes. Look at your timeouts. Make that onside kick decision. Yeah, how do you feel about your defense, where you are in terms of the scoreboard, and the time left on the clock, as you noted? So many things to go through. Extra point up and good by Dicker. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So they got their touchdown, now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. And this one recovered by the hands team for the Ravens. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. The Ravens offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. on the football here as they run on first down. Now they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Again, it's Edwards. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now a timeout called for by the defense as he'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. stop with a minute six left to go in the game. Yeah. 
Third and four. Now Jackson. It's caught by Aguilar. And he has the Ravens first down, and it would appear that that's going to be the one to do it. It's a gain of four, and that should just about seal the deal. And this defense, they needed that one more stop to have any chance, but that completion, that's likely going to seal their fate. And you could hear it in your voice, that one more stop. I feel their pain. Oh, it was so important. They just didn't get it done. Wow, what a way to finish this one off. Well, taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it, in the fourth quarter? They had to just hold on. As you said, furious assault on them. But they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. Well, a couple more minutes, and maybe the outcome of this one, Charles, would have been different. But ultimately, time runs out on the comeback, so it falls short. And they hold on to win this by just one possession. Not the fourth quarter they wanted, but they did earn the win, and they'll be happy about that, and they should be. Now they're going to go back to practice, see what they can do to prevent a future lead from slipping away like this one was. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Southern California.